Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Now in today's tutorial we're going to be actually furthering our discussion on CCTV cameras, specifically IP cameras to be precise. I'm going to be showing you practi practically how you could actually install your IP cameras using the switch and your router network. So please stay tuned and watch this video to the end. So you get your CAT6 cable and your power over Ethernet switch. So please, some people might likely get me wrong when I said that you go purchase a power over Ethernet. I meant the switch, not the cable, please. The cable is just CAT6 cable. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect from your switch to your cameras and uh, using the power over Ethernet point and the NVR. So this is basically how you do it. You see, I have my crimped cable already purchased from the market. I'm going to connect it to my power over Ethernet cable, which means I do not have to come to connect power to the camera. Once I've connected the power over Ethernet cable to the camera from the switch, I don't need to actually begin to buy adapter for the cameras. But in the case where I'm not using a power over Ethernet switch, I will I'm definitely going to have to buy a power adapter for each camera. So it's best advisable that you use a power over Ethernet switch. So you just connect to each camera from each point. That's how easy it is. So here it is. I've connected the three cameras together and I'm connecting them to my power over Ethernet switch. So this is basically the wiring. Now this is the DVR. Now we connect the DVR. Now there is always going to be one single port that is left that is going to be the, the, for the input from the power switch. You mean, you know, in everything we have the input and we have the outlet. So the input for the DVR is going to be there and that of the router to as well is going to be there. So we're going to connect the DVR, the NVR, sorry, not the DVR. The NVR now to the switch from the switch to the NVR network port now it's been provided there as you can see that's it and we connect it to the NVR so here's actually a, a pictorial diagram of that as you can see is behind the switch so that's how you do it so with all of this, you've pretty much connected, make the connection. It's as simple as this. From the camera points, get your quasi cable and connect. Then this is my router. Now, this is the router that connects, that creates the network for us. So we simply connect the router directly to the power over internet switch as well. So as you, can, as you can see, this is the Ethernet cable that we connect to the NVR. So in order for us to actually have that connection using the, the router, we need to connect that of the NVR directly to the router and the router to the switch so that it can provide a network for the cameras to actually work and function very well. Well, the, the first time we actually plugged in directly into the switch is, say per se, if we actually connect into a LAN network. Maybe there's an existing LAN network, so you just connect the NVR directly to the power over internet switch, and then, of course, the last port to, as to the network, the LAN network that is already existing. But in a situation whereby you're going to be using a router to actually create that network, then you have to connect the NVR directly to the router and then you connect the router to the switch that will serve as a distribution. Now if you look at this uh, switch I'm actually using, I'm using the the Hike Vision. So the Hike Vision is really a good product. You can even their cameras are very good. They have both indoor cameras and outdoor cameras. So if you want to purchase a camera, I suggest you purchase that of the Eye Vision. So right now we're going to have to power on the NVR, as you can see, the adapter is used to power the NVR. Like I said, there is no need to power on the cameras because we're using a power over Ethernet switch, not a power over Ethernet cable. Some people might likely get me wrong in my last video, 
So this is the right thing. Please don't forget to hit the subscription button and turn on your notification. For Bye bye.